Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a project share. Um, around Valentine's Day I did a community project where I gave away a bunch of my journals that I make and subsequent to that I had several inquiries on whether I would make them uh, a journal kind of in their own color scheme or with certain things in them. And so I am filling a couple of orders for some of those types of journals. So this person wanted purples and blues and black and white and silver and also to include tigers and um, let's see, I can't remember what the other things are. Anyway, I'll, I'll tell you when I get to them. But anyway, um, this is the collaged cover that I made. So lots of flowers and then kind of my whimsical person that I normally put on there. Um, has this really beautiful charm, little tassel of all sorts of different purple and blue and um, kind of periwinkle ribbons. And then I'll do just a, a quick, quick flip through. It's too early for me to talk. Um, so I have got uh, some eco paper. So you can see the leaf pattern in there that's been sort of boiled into the paper. This was from a sheet of music paper and it's a little tuck spot for these list pads. There's a little, another little tuck spot. Just all sorts of random papers, of course. Lots of places to write or tuck ephemera, movie stubs or whatever, clippings, photos, all kinds of things. Um, all sorts of ATCs, magazine pages, painted papers, book pages, maps. This happens to be a map of Oregon. Music. Lots of list pads. Lots of envelopes. Another little tuck spot there. There's another tuck spot. Um, these were some papers that I was, envelopes that I was dying and the inside ink bled through, but I still like the effect. A little pocket I created, I turned an envelope inside out just so I could see the security pattern there. There's another little tuck spot. So yeah, this sort of was guided by the color scheme that the person wanted. Lots of painted papers, pockets, a little piece of notebook paper that's kind of pink. Just a little tuck spot. One thing that I'm having trouble with right now in this season in my household is that my, <laughs> my animals are shedding. So I had a heck of a time trying to kind of keep this process hermetically sealed so that they wouldn't uh, contribute to my projects. Um, but anyway, I think I managed to do that. This is a little fun thing from the Dollar Tree and a tag that I collaged. Here's one of the tigers, a little baggie. Did lots of magazine pages. Um, people always get, I've had people comment on the books that I make and they get upset that things aren't necessarily archival, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, we're not saving the, the, the forefathers, um, important papers. This is something somebody's going to journal in and tuck things into, and it will probably last the duration of their life and probably on to the next person. Will it eventually get brittle? potentially, um, but that's decades to come. And I think that it's worth it to have kind of the, the look and the tactile feel of some of these different things. But anyway, I figured I'd respond to that. There's no little tuck spot there, a little crossword puzzle, magazine page that I thought was pretty evocative. I'm trying to use a lot more magazine images. And of course, you know, I'm not trying to rip off anybody's 
work in terms of copyright. This is for personal use. Somebody's going to use this to diary and tuck things in, so I'm not too worried about it. I found some um, books in my collection that have how to draw animals, and those have some pretty awesome tiger things. So I included those. We've got little tags, a little pocket and a tag. This is pretty vellum. This came in the front of a, one of my books that I got at the thrift store. A little French lesson. This is kind of a cool little include here. Um, a long time ago at a thrift store or an antique store, I came upon some navigation for flying airplanes and it had things in the Northwest, so I included a Spokane, Washington page. Another tag, another piece of vellum, and then at the very end, this little pocket that the person could kind of tuck things into, and then another one of the eco-dyed papers. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and include this hair elastic, and that'll be a good means of keeping things closed it's pretty thick as is, and of course there's room for lots more for this person uh, to include things of their own. But yeah, so that's ready for one person, and I'm going to come back to you and show you one more. Okay, be right back.